What's up guys, it's Brad here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO system set, set number 4002, the Riptide Racer. This LEGO set came out in 1996, has 54 LEGO pieces and one LEGO minifigure, and is of course a LEGO boat that I am super excited to check out. According to LEGO in the box here, it really does float, so let's get into it, because I'll be the judge of that. Alright you guys, so let's take a look at the Riptide Racer here. This is a really cool one, it is a majority of this really nice red and some black and we've got some white accents there. Really makes it look like a racing boat, like this one is, when I see it coming I would definitely want to move it out of the way because I know it's going to overtake me. It is made up by a majority of the hall piece here which is about 8 inches long, it contains a sticker on each side. You guys can see it has been mm, not that well applied by the user who had this before me. It's got some really cool details in it as well, according to LEGO it does float but we're not going to be able to test that out in this video. We are going to have to wait until July or at some point. Obviously, because it is a smaller set, only 54 LEGO pieces, there isn't a ton of detail that I can talk about in it, but I can show you some of the things that I like the most about it. So like I said, the hall takes up a majority of the set, but we do get to do some building on the top with a couple plates here. The first things first, I want to criticize the building techniques on the back. I feel like this just goes to show how much LEGO has changed with the times and how much their pieces have evolved over the years. As you can see, they clearly wanted to include a 1x10 plate here. But obviously back in the day LEGO did not make 1x10 plates so they included a 1x6 and a 1x4 and when you guys press on the top of the propeller here you guys can see that 1x4 is buckling there and it just it does not line up. This is such a weird piece selection something LEGO could never ever do today but that is one gripe right off the bat that I have of the set. Don't worry though I'm not going to be too picky about this set because I do know it was made in the 90s obviously LEGO building techniques and LEGO parts have really evolved since then. This set did come with one LEGO minifigure, which we will take a look at in just a minute, but you guys can see on the inside, this is what the cockpit looks like. I really like the cockpit glass they used here because it's got like four different sides to it and it just looks really, really sharp. It's, it looks, you know, very, very speedy and adds to it a lot. When you remove the cockpit piece here, it takes off some tiles with it and you can, can see some more illegal building techniques. We just got these two two by two tiles just hanging on there by two studs. Lego would never ever do that today. We've got a very basic seat, some open area of the hall here and a seat back here. It's not even really a seat. It is just a two by four brick with a steering wheel on one side and the rest of it being held into the other set. So you guys can just see the kind of the composure of the, the boat here and how the Lego built it up. It does have a control panel right here for everything to control and of course the steering wheel. It does look like we have some exhaust here. These are really nice silver color. Lego did do a lot of silver back in the 90s which is pretty interesting and then here we do have a lego hatch you open it up here and i believe this is supposed to be the inside motor of the boat it's got some details there mostly blue and i like how it kind of folds down so you can see it's glass you can still see the detailing on the inside but of course you can easily lift it up on the back here i've already complained about the back of this model and how it's pretty unstructurally sound but we do have some antennas there for some decoration and then we've got some transparent bricks just for different colors so you guys can see the boat on the back here i think it's got a little lip here something like that I don't know if it's supposed to be like a swimming platform for the minifigure to jump off or if it's just for detail or if it's to help balance the boat out but it looks pretty cool and then on the bottom here this is just what the hull looks like another thing you probably could do is attach a motor or something like that you guys may have seen from the review that I made of set number 4022 where Lego actually suggested you could add a motor to the back of it that might be something they're doing with this boat here I said at the start of the review that unfortunately the stickers were not applied the best by the previous owners of the set which is okay um, I hope they don't get wrecked when I do test this, this set eventually in like July and test it out to see if it will float or not. But I guess we'll have to wait and see because we have to test it out and if stickers get wrecked because it's a casualty, it's a casualty. The official description from this set from LEGO is see how fast you can rip through the waves in this bright red and black racer. The rear opens up for the quick engine repairs and the chrome plated exhaust pipes take you faster than the speed of sound. Which overall I think is a pretty accurate description. That's why I guess I didn't even think of, you know, me doing repairs. I'm not a boat guy. I'm not a mechanic. I never even, you know, my boat's broke and I'm taking it to a shop, uh, but that makes sense why the back there opens up for the engine to make those repairs. I mentioned as well, it does come with one Lego minifigure. This is a Speed Demon, a Speed Racer. He is wearing a helmet on the front there. He is wearing a helmet here that is white, and it's got some red and green stripes. Looks very, very sharp with this very solid black visor. Definitely can't see out of that. Taking off the head there, you guys can see this is what the minifigure looks like on the inside. Just two eyes and that little mustache there and that weird little smile. You guys can't really see the torso or anything like that, but he's wearing a white pants with a white torso there. No printing on the pants or anything like that. And if I remove his head to remove his life jacket that he's wearing you guys can see this is what the printing looks like underneath it is an octane race team uh, t-shirt which is pretty cool it looks really neat it's got race built out in yellow and red letters and of course team in black with that octane logo on the front there 
I don't normally take time in a review to talk about a box that a set came in, but given that this set was from 1996 and I still have the original box, I thought I might as well show you guys here in the video. But as you can see on the front, we've got an image of the box here. It contains 53 LEGO pieces. Brick set says 54. I'll, I'll believe LEGO at 53. We've got the really floats icon, of course, the set number LEGO system and ages 6 to 10. We've got the side there. Unfortunately, the back of the box is quite damaged. With The tape peeled it off there. But originally, it did have several different views of the boat. And we've got a cute little kid playing with the set in actual water. I like that it looks like this is true Lego photography and not animations like all the sets are nowadays, but I'm not, I'm not upset about it. I think it looks really cool, and I think it's pretty good given that this set did come out in the 90s. Unfortunately, I don't have the instruction manual, so I'm unable to verify if this is like set number 4022, where it kind of suggests that you use a, another race part or something like that to actually make this set move, uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't indicate anything that's, you know, that sorts on the box here. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's review of Sunmar 4002, the Riptide Racers from the 1996 LEGO Systems line. Very, very happy with this set here. Again, like the other bolts that I've been reviewing from the 90s, this is a pretty cool one, and although lacks a lot of the detail that you'd find in LEGO sets now and contains these massive molds, they're overall still pretty good sets that I am excited to have here in the LEGO collection. Of course, if you guys want to know if this set does float or not, I will eventually tell you, but not here in today's video. I will have to test that out in a separate video sometime this summer and show you whether or not this set will float so you guys will definitely want to subscribe so you don't miss that anyway thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys here in the next video